Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Antonio. I'm out here with you guys. I'm excited because I got some new tampos, baby. Now these are the regular tampos, not the Monte Beluga. And they're this awesome pink colorway. Look at this. Look how nice these things are. Look, they're still tied and everything. Well, I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions out here on the field. Get some quick touches and kind of give you guys my impressions about this clique in comparison to uh, the regular tampos. These are sick. As you can tell, the insole has a like curviated insole. So it's not like smooth like the Montebeluga's ones. So these are going to be sick. I did get them in my regular seven and a half that I always do. You guys always, I always go seven and a half. Oh, oh yeah. See, these are awesome because I can already tell I don't need grip socks. You can just tell. You're just kind of locked in with any sock. And that's what I appreciate. I feel like that has to definitely go into the overall rating of the boot. Whenever I rate boots, that's why I gave like the Montebelugas like an 8 out of 10 or maybe even like 7.8 out of 10 for the Montebeluga tampos because I feel like you shouldn't have to compensate for the boot, you know? You should just be able to jump on the field and just have a good time and play rather than worrying what socks you have to wear. It's always so frustrating, but... Let me know what you guys think of this colorway. I was really excited to get this colorway. I think I might get the white uh, pair or the World Cup pair if they're still available. If I end up really, really liking these. Because the nice thing about Tampos, and I'm still a vapor guy at heart. It's just that sometimes my feet, after playing, just hurt so much. And... I'm at a point in my life right now where I just want to be comfortable while I'm getting some touches in. So comfort's super, super important to me. And that's why I tend to go for something that has some type of leather, whether it be calf leather, like authentic leather. You know, I just want to be comfortable. These look really nice. On feet, I think they look super, super clean. So impressions is, I will say these feel like they are wider than the Montebelugas. They feel wider in the toe area. Everything else feels really similar, uh, but in the toe area they are like spacier in there. Not a bad way, my toe definitely still gets to the end of the boot really nice, but in the Montable Lugos, I did feel my toes like scrunch, scrunch. And in these, they feel completely normal. Let me get you a nice shot up front here to see. There they are, guys. Looking clean as a whistle, baby. They do have a shimmer to them. You probably can't catch it on camera. The cool thing about these is that you do get some nice pods here. Unlike the Montebeluga, because it was untreated. So it does have these really nice, and it has a little bit of grip texture to it. So that's really cool. Still have that instep pod for passing and receiving. And I really do like this. This is really nice. And it is it's nice and fluffy in there. That's nice. You guys can see my toe does go right to the end of the boot, just like I like. A little bit of space here, but like I said, they are a little bit wider um, than the Montebelugas. I can already tell.
juggling felt really good. It's really plush. Now, I will say I might need to break them in a little bit because that toe area will obviously shrink as I break the cleats in, which will give me like a better fit. Uh, but so far, in regards to lockdown, definitely no issues. You do not need grip socks with these. So that's awesome over the Montevalugas. Obviously, the Montevalugas gave you this really soft, plush leather touch that's like second to none and these pretty good touch you definitely feel a little bit of the pods on the top uh, but other than that um they feel fantastic too just not as plush as the montebelugos because they had the untreated leather uh, but these feel outstanding so far the left foot um is breaking in a little bit slower but that's natural for me because my left foot is a little bit more narrow than my right i always have some issues with my left while i'm breaking them in but other than that super good i'm already getting some crinkles on this leather which is awesome and so far i really am liking these cleats um in comparison to the montevalugas um at least the lockdown is just so much better which i'd rather take the lockdown um into account rather than having like an amazing amazing leather because the touch still feels outstanding in these so super happy let's get into some speed dribbling Yeah. 